Welcome to Reads How are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I was not expecting to do any type of video today, but God had other plans. I did one, so yeah. You should get into the video. Here's the intro. <laughs> sitting here right i was like actually i was in that i was in the chair over there i was like you know what andrew um I, I don't feel like doing a vlog today like not not at all not not in the slightest but then i started watching uh what's their channel name Je jesse jason jason gabriel my point is what was my point they're like 25 24 26 i don't know how what they're in the they're in like the, the late the, the mid 20s i was like wow what's my life gonna be like that I'm thinking about it. Like, I want to be, like, I want to be like a general surgeon. I'm gonna be in medical school for the longest time. Uh, I know that. Okay, I knew there was gonna be like, like an extra eight something. Is it eight years? I'm gonna be in school till I'm thirty. I should look this. I should know this. Know these things, because that's gonna be like you know, my life. Four years. That's it. When is Jesus coming back? Take me home. Now that I think about it, now that I actually think about it, think about it. High school went by like that. It's already over. So four years, that's actually not that bad. It's, 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 it's going to be easy. It's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. Everything's going to be good. It's going to be good. Literally, this year, everything's just been hitting me. I'm going to college this year. Me, Andrew, Reed's room, college. That makes no sense to me. Jesus. I've opened my eyes to certain things about Jesus and a lot of things that are going on in this world right now. The main reason why 2020 was so bad, we were just lacking the Holy Spirit. All the racism out there. Ooh. Especially from people that claim to be Christians. Mm. To be a follower of Christ. You can't be racist. You can't be mean. I mean, everyone struggles with something, but let's actually try. Let's try to be like Jesus. Let's let's try. Let's try a little bit harder. I've been sleeping. Oh, basically a zombie. There we go. That's the best thing. Oh, Lecrae. Bro, Lecrae's album Restoration speaks volumes. One song in particular, uh, it's called Zombie. And he, it, it, it talks about how apparently he used to be in some bad, do some, do some bad stuff, very bad stuff. But when he, when he got introduced to God and he actually had a, an interest in him and he explored more into him, Jesus came into his life and changed it. And he didn't necessarily do those bad things anymore. So uh, he says that he was a zombie. He was alive, but dead. Basically, that's what I've been. That's what I've been. Just the thought of me going on to do things like on my own, like without my family. It's kind of crazy. Right name is the better word. Me, college, and then uh, medical school. Uh, I don't have to be afraid when I have Jesus on my side. Was David afraid of Goliath? This is, the, this is the, a, a great example, a great example. Over here we have a big man. Here's Goliath. We have a big man over here talking smack about Jesus, my God. Talking smack about God and how, how, how weak he is, how dumb he is. And here, here are King Saul and all the Israelites, and they're scared of him. But then we have David come along, who is much smaller than all of them. Uh, he says, who do you think you're talking to? But he goes to the King Saul, he's like, King, let me fight. And then Saul's like, ah, who are you? What are you gonna do, tiny little dude? And like, first of all, what are you talking about? Because you didn't even do anything. Shut up, King Saul. Anyway, David goes, and he's like, square up. He gets five he gets five smooth stones from like the, the dried up riverbed. C crazy thing about that. When he gets the five stones, Goliath actually had four other siblings. So he, so subconsciously he's like, oh, let me get these five stones because if if Goliath is the one, I can definitely take him down. God's gonna help me with that. But I'm going after his siblings too. His other giant friends. So David's like, square up. You talking, you talking trash about my God? You better get these hands. You better catch a stone in your forehead. And he was like, they duked it out. David threw a stone, knocked him in the head. He fell over, and then David cuts his head off. And Israel's is victorious. That's what happens when you talk smack about God. Mm. He comes back in different ways you would not expect. So um, the very least we can do is respect him. <laughs> I'm not gonna say someone's gonna come out here and cut your head off, but you know it's kind of crazy. Just 
calm yourself but yeah i don't have to be afraid of a lot of things because i know that i know i have the um the guidance of the holy spirit in me and i do not have to uh what's it called succumb to the pressures of this world that sounds very cliche but them cliche words are the best things i got because it, it, it that's literally how it feels i don't have to be afraid anymore yeah that's pretty much what's like it ain't easy the Bible never says it'd be easy. Jesus never said being a Christian, I mean, well not being a Christian, being one of his followers would be easy. But he did say he'd help us, help us through it. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my, 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 my Google Classroom, my, my virtual school. I did not expect this to happen or expect any of this to happen, but Jesus had another plan for me. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Wait. I don't even get to say the other stuff. Just, just thanks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.